All right, so we're here at Evergreen Cemetery. It is at the foot of Mount Rubido. Mount Rubido is said to be um, a haunted mountain. It has walking trails. Um, it has been reported that people seeing human-like figures or shadows um, while walking the trails. All right, so here we are again back at Evergreen Cemetery. 11 months ago, I came here and did a little investigation. Okay, so today, tonight actually, I brought the K2. I have my little spirit talker and an SLS camera. Now, right now I'm walking more towards the other side of the cemetery because the first time we came here, this tree that we're approaching right now, this tree right in the middle right there, we were, we took a picture and were able to see some sort of orb standing there. Right about here is where we seen that orb. All right, so Mark has the SLS out. That's the tree. I'm trying to see if we can catch whatever was there from last time. And you see these little, looks like little bugs flying around. Oh. What happened? I don't know, I was catching something right there. No, I guess not this time. That probably kind oh. of... Popped okay, up right here by the tree. let's see. I guess it popped up again. By the tree? Yeah. Right by this tree. Huh? Got shy. <laughs> yeah, it seems like every time I move the camera away from his SLS, it gets shy and goes away. Oh, there we go again. I seen that popping its head around the tree, it seems. All right, so I'm walking around the tree, tree has a happy face. just in case maybe it could be someone trying to scare us. But yeah, there's nobody there. All right, so I brought out the K2 and I'm about to turn it on. I thought I heard like a crinkle back there. And right now it looks like it's only at green. Let's go ahead and try to get closer to the tree. If there's someone here, you can light this device up for me. Oh. Oh, what's that? Maybe it's maybe it could be detecting like the stones, but there's not a stone right there, is there? No. That's standing up. Well, it's kind of an odd shape. It yeah, it has like a body of a square squared looking figure. Okay, so when we first got here, as you can see, my camera looked a little more brighter without having to use the such a bright light like you seen when I was holding the K2, and for some reason, it just looks very dark. Okay, so here is that mausoleum that we came across last time when I did the investigation here. And I have the K2 in my hands. And it's still at the 1. Looks like it's moving a little bit now. So if there's anybody here, you can go ahead and light up my device. So for a second, it looked like there was someone standing there. There it goes again. It's funny because 
if it were detecting the bars it's funny because if it were to be detecting the bars you know it wouldn't look like such a human-like figure that's just my thought Okay, so it looks like the K2 is still at the 1, but it kind of, it's been blinking when I don't have the camera next to it. And there it goes again, very high. It's weird how it's showing like square-like figures, and then there it goes again, the human-like figure right there in the corner. Okay, so we decided to come around the corner here on the other side. I thought there was an opening from here to the other side where we were standing, but I guess not. I was trying to see if we could see whatever it was better. Is there anybody here? Is that you? Okay, so it's blinking. It's on the two lights. It seems a little bit stronger when we came over here. So if anybody is here, you could go ahead and light up this device to the red for me. Could you do that? <gasps> Did you hear that? I, sw I swear I heard, like, rust rustling of leaves, and it doesn't seem that it's, it's windy. It's not even windy. You can see the trees here are not even moving. Is anybody standing right here? Wow. Look at that. Okay, so I brought out my spirit talker because I did hear a crunching sound right here by this uh, tree. So I want to see if any spirits have anything to say. Was there someone here just now? Ivy. Ivy. Is this your name? Was there someone here named Ivy that made that rustling sound of the tree right in front of me? If there's someone right here, do you have anything to say besides Ivy? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot to say? Ivy, do you have a lot to say? Nineteen forties. What about the nineteen forties? Were you here in the nineteen forties? In Riverside? Maybe there's a grave close by, 1940s? Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. Your name is Ivy? She said, yes, it's me. When I said, was it you here in the 1940s? Wow. Do you have relatives that are buried here or are you buried here? right now I felt like someone pulled my hair I'm not even lying I'm not even joking I feel like someone just pulled my hair right now
That was weird. Are you around us? Ground. Ground. Are you in the ground? Oh man, that was, that was kind of scary when I felt that tug on my hair. I mean, it could have been something else, I guess, but I don't know. I felt there was a tug. This person. I'm oh, yeah. a good person. That's good to know that you are a good person. So we're walking down more this way because there was these little pink windmill things that we came across last time. I think they're, they were somewhere around here, but last time we came, there was no breeze and they started spinning. And when I we told it to stop, it did stop. Emerge. Emerge. Okay. <laughs> okay, so obviously I could have sworn I saw them here still, but they're not here. I mean, why would they be here 11 months later, right? But I, I could have sworn I saw them again. That would have been something to show right there. But yeah, this was the area where they were. Shh, listen. Listen to what? What are we listening for? You can go ahead and give us a sign that you're around here. <laughs> that thing scared me. <laughs> Fireworks. We won't harm you. Well, that's good to know. So we're listening around right now. Do you have anything to say? Besides letting us know that you won't hurt us. Where did you come from? How did you belong here? Who's we? Is it you and somebody else? Alexander. <gasps> I asked Who's we? So you... So you, Ivy, and Alexander? You won't harm us. Thank you. How did you guys get here? What happened to you? Alright, so I asked how did you guys get here and they said control. What does that mean, control? Was somebody controlling you? In the 1940s? She killed me. She killed me. Who killed you? Ivy? Ivy kill. Is this Alexander? Is this Alexander that I'm talking to? Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. This is so weird. This has never happened before to me. Oh wow. So there must be an Alexander around here. Welsh. Welsh. Alexander Welsh? Hmm. Is there an Alexander around here? Or... Or 
Ivy. Did Welsh control you here in <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for what? Well, you're welcome, whatever it is. Um, are you thankful that we just came here? To Thank talk to you. I get so nervous. That's why I look like that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Did you hear that? I heard right when we stopped, because I know when we walk, the leaves are crunching, but when we stopped, I heard another crunch, and I know we were both not walking anymore. The grave. The grave. Which grave? The grave. Which grave? Can you point us to where you're at? There's a boy here. Alexander. Tell us. Okay, so we started walking by this tree again where we saw, well, the first time that I saw an orb. Worship. Worship. Yeah, we're by a mausoleum and all that. But anyways, before that it said, yes, I'm here. And then right here where the tree is, we see an ivy but it's not 1940s she died in 75 but it is between so maybe something happened in 1940s to an alexander she knew or a welsh yeah something but it's just i mean who knows but it is kind of strange that right here it says yes i'm here and then the tree this is where we see more of the kind of action, I guess, we did. And then there's Ivy. Strange. Okay, so there's Mark over there. Let's see what he's doing. This was definitely something, wasn't it, Mark? Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is his first time here at the cemetery. And you can see over there, right up there is, I believe, Mount Rubido. Looks like it. Yeah. To me, mountains in the dark look scary. I can never live somewhere where I know there's hills. It's just, I don't know, something about it that looks scary. There's that tree again, straight ahead. And yeah, that's, I think that's gonna conclude our night. Actually, it was pretty cool, you know, coming here, doing this little investigation again. I can definitely say if it is what it is, we definitely got more this time around than when I first came here 11 months ago. All right, well, thank you for viewing my video here at Evergreen Cemetery in Riverside, California. If you've never been here before, well, you've seen, seen it with me.